Speaking of being better together, yeah. a local bar has found a new way to serve customers during the statewide closure. Yeah, this is just such a great idea. Jovi's here now to tell us how this 649 bar has transformed into a soup kitchen to feed people in need. This is just great. So it, it really is, Kim and Shawna. You know, it's been five weeks since bars and restaurants were required to move to a takeout only model. Many business owners had to shut down completely. Others trying to figure out a way to somehow stay open. In Aloha, one neighborhood spot decided to serve the community a specific dish in a special way. You've heard of chicken soup for the soul? Well, it's something like that. On the corner of Farmington and 185th, the 649 is a local bar where you could grab a beer, cocktail, or bite to eat. Everything that we're about has always just been a, a sort of community-focused place. But when the pandemic shut down Oregon bars, GM Kareem Delgado wanted to protect both his employees and his community. Trying to kind of continue to keep our team employed and uh, with their benefits and also keep our uh, you know our customers having some kind of respite from all of this. While serving takeout food was still an option, he says the 649 could simply not get all the ingredients for their normal full menu. So the team decided to hone in on one very specific menu item, soup. It's become kind of uh, one of the secrets on the menu, uh, all the regulars know to order the soup each day. So they turned their bar into a takeout soup kitchen. And it wasn't just about paying their bills. Kareem says they wanted to help feed community members who had lost their jobs. We were thinking about what the pricing model for that would be and then thought, well, what if we um, just made it pay as you can. So they have a suggested price, two fifty a pint, five bucks a quart, that essentially covers the cost of ingredients. People can pay more, less, or even get a free soup. There's something of an honor system at work here. Kareem says most people pay the suggested price, while others go above and beyond. Other folks have been, I mean, astonishingly generous uh, and, and made sure that um, you know, dozens of people would be able to to get a free soup. And it, they'll buy like a, a pint of soup and they'll pay us, you know, $100. Um, and it's, <laughs> uh, it's insane. Every day it's four new flavors. Today I'm looking at our, at our menu. We've got like uh, a Thai vegetable with crab and shrimp, a West African chicken peanut. That's our gluten-free option. Uh, you know, a chicken and rice and, a, and a, a beef and barley. And no matter what's on the menu, each day is a new opportunity to serve their neighbors and share a little kindness, one tasty bowl at a time. Our bar is in each of these people's homes, uh, you know, night after night. And it's, and it's at least one, you know, one remedy to a lot of other stressors in their lives. So it's pretty cool. Again, the 649 uh, selling their soups, they're doing it every day from 3 to 7 p.m. They also, by the way, are filling growlers, selling canned microbrews, and even cocktail kits so you can make your own drinks at home. Uh, they're located on Farmington Road just west, right off 185th. So stop by uh, and help them out. And, and again, if you're in need, they're happy to give you some free soup as well. It all looks so good, yeah. Joe. Thank you. Mm -hmm.